Welcome back to day 46 of online learning. Today we're going over unit eight, lesson 2.2. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pull up our lesson goals and objectives for today's video. In today's video, we're focusing on being able to say, I will be able to represent a multiplication problem using arrays. I will be able to multiply two digit numbers by breaking apart the numbers. And I will continue to develop fluency with my division facts. And that last goal, will be done by you continuing to practice your division flashcards. In earlier units of multiplication and division for math, we've gone over how to use an array to help us figure out the area of a rectangle. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to pull up different arrays and we're going to figure out how can we use the dimensions, so the length across and the height, to help us figure out easier ways for us to figure out multiplication sentences. If I don't know what eight times nine is, how can I break apart these numbers to make it easier for me to figure out? What I want you to do is take a look at this array. I want you to think about what its dimensions are. What are the dimensions across the length and up and down the width? Pause me and think about what the length and width are or the dimensions are of this array. This array is eight units across, and it's seven units is up and down. Pause me and think about what equation will show the area of this array. What is the equation to find the area of this array? To find the area, I know area is length times width, I know the equation would be 7 times 8. And some of you guys might already know what 7 times 8 equals, but let's say that you didn't know. How do you think knowing 5 times 8 will help me find the product of 7 times 8? How does knowing 5 times 8 help me find the answer of 7 times 8? How can we show this on the array? Pause me now and think about that. What I could do is I could split up this array by one, two, three, four, five, and draw a line right down or right across and figure out what five times eight is. Because I still have the same amount across. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight but now I have one, two, three, four, five. So my equation up top would be five times eight. Pause me and think about what my equation for this part of the array would be. If I'm breaking this array apart, it'd be five times eight and then two times eight. All I'm doing is splitting up seven units into five and two. Pause me and think about what five times eight is. Five times eight is 40. All I'm splitting up is five units and two units. And now think about what two times eight is. Two times eight is 16. So I split up this array and found the area by breaking up seven times eight into five times eight and two times eight. Pause me and think about what do I need to do with these two products now? I would then need to add 40 plus 16, I would need to add the two areas of my array to find that this is 56 square units. Pause and think about what did we just do to find the area of this array instead of doing seven times eight, what did we do?
what we did is we broke it up into two equations that we know. We know what 5 times 8 is, and we know what 2 times 8 is. So I was able to split up my total of 7 units of my length and split it up into 5 units and 2 units, or find something that's easier for me to solve. Now let's take a look at this array. What are the dimensions of this array? So what I want you to figure out is what is the length and the width of this array. This array is 14 units across is my width, and it's 7 units up and down. So my equation would be, my area would equal 7 times 14. What I want you to do now is I want you to think about how can I find the area of this array? How can I break the numbers apart? Even though I could see all of these squares and I could count them up, I want you to think about how can I use multiplication facts that I know and what you know about breaking apart multiplication problems to figure out how I can solve this problem by myself on my own. Pause me now and figure out how I can break apart this equation, 7 times 14, into a multiplication sentence that I already know. What I could do is I could break this into a multiple of 10. I see that it's 14 units, so I can make it 10 and 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to draw a line right here. So I'm going to make this length or this width 10 and this width 4 units. Pause me and think about what my equation is going to be to find the area of this part of the rectangle. My equation will be 10 times 7 because my length is staying the same, but my, now my width, I'm breaking it apart, breaking up those 14 units into 10 units and then 4 units. So it would be 10 times 7, which equals 70. Pause me and think about what else do I need to now find for this array. I need to find 4 times 7. I now need to find 4 times 7 because I have the rest of my width. In 4 times 7, if you don't know but right off the top of your head, you can make 4 groups of 7 or 7 groups of 4. So I'm going to make four groups. And what I'm going to first do is I see that that's, there's seven. So I'm going to first put five in each. That way I can break it apart into a number that I know a little bit easier. That way I'm not losing count with seven. So I'm going to put five, 10, 15, 20, and I, since I already put 5, I now need to put 2 more to equal 7 in each. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. So I put 7 in each, so 5, 10, 15, 20, and then 2, so 2, 4, 6, 8. So 20 plus 8 is 28. Pause me and think about what do I have to do now? So I broke up my array into 10 times 7 and then I need to do 4 times 7. So I got 70 and now I need to add 70 plus 28. In 70 plus 28, there's 7 tenths here and 2 tenths here. So 98. So it's 98 square units. So all I did is I broke this up into two new equations to help me solve it. I broke apart 14 into a multiple of 10 
and then I also had four left over. I can also think about solving this in a different way. Pause me and think about a different way that I can break apart this array into two equations that are easier for me to solve. A different way that I can solve this is I can break it up and break 14 into, into 7 and 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm just going to break it up right in half. So my equation here would be, or my measurement would be 7 units and 7 units. So pause me and think about what my equation would be to represent this part of my array. To find the area of this part of my array, my equation would be 7 times 7. And I know 7 times 7 is 49. Pause me and think about what my area would be of this array. My area of this array would also be 7 times 7 which is equal to 49. Pause me and think about what do I have to do with my two products to find the total area. So I did 7 times 7 and 7 times 7. So now what I need to do is I need to add 49 plus 49. And I can break this down by doing my 10, so 40 plus 40, which is equal to 80. And then my 1s, which would be 9 plus 9, which is equal to 18. So 80 plus 18 is 98 square units. So here are two different ways that we, we just went over two different ways that we can find the area of this array by breaking apart the numbers to find equations that are easier for us to solve. It's a lot easier for us to do it this way than having to skip count 7, 14, all the way across, or counting each block one by one. That's a really easy way for you to lose track and get the wrong answer if you're counting the squares one by one. For your half due today, you're going to be working on pages 493 to 494. It's going to be very similar to what we just did, where we broke apart our multiplication equation into different numbers that make it easier for us to solve. We just broke apart my two-digit number into numbers that are easier for me to solve. So I'm going to pull up pages 493 to 494 of what you are going to do today. Here is your half due for today. It's pages 493 to 494, and it's using arrays. So the directions are to label the dimensions of each of the arrays, find the area, and show how you found it. So find the dimensions, so the length and the width of these arrays, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 units across the length, and 4 units is the width. What you're going to do is you're going to then break apart into multiples of 10 or into multiplication equations that you already know and break it apart just like we did during our half do into an equation that you know. What I need you to make sure that you do is show your work for all the equations that you're using to find the area for this array or else I won't be able to help you and figure out where you went wrong or see if you did it correctly. Now let's take a look at the success criteria of what you should be able to accomplish by doing watching this video and doing your half do for today. Your success criteria, by the end of this video and doing your half do, you should be able to say that I can use an array to help me figure out multiplication problems. I can solve multiplication problems using different strategies like breaking apart numbers. And I can solve division problems quickly and correctly. And that's going to be done by you using your flashcards. So now let's take a look at your half do slide for today. For today, you need to complete pages 493 to 494, which is at using arrays page. You need to practice your facts. I'm working on division flashcards for 10 minutes, and then do 15 minutes of IXL only on the highlighted skills. So take a look at this rubric below.
to see how you're going to be scored on this assignment.